Hello everybody, what's going on here? Today we can learn more about virtual assistant or intelligent intelligent personal assistant in English language. From Wikipedia I will retell this page and it will be really interesting to know more new words and also to prepare me to the graduate work after is thesis thesis work or our one moment need to translate it is our diploma 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 sheepskin patent okay let's do this a virtual assistant or intelligent personal assistant is a software agent that can perform tasks or services for an individual sometimes the term chatbot is used to refer to virtual assistants generally or specifically those accessed by online chat sometimes the term chatbot is used to, okay by online chat or in some cases online chat programs that are for entertainment and not useful purposes some virtual assistants are able to interpret human speech and respond via synthesis synthesized 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 synth synthesized synthesized voices Users can ask their assistant question, their assistant questions, control home automation devices and media playback via voice, and manage other basic tasks such as email, to-do list, and calendars with verbal commands. Okay, we can use our verbal commands to verbal commands, or how to say it? Con verbal commands verbal commands verbal commands to we can use our verbal commands to say to say to virtual assistant what can i do and what do i want as of 2017, the capabilities and usage of virtual assistants are expanding rapidly, with new products entering the market and a strong emphasis emphasis on voice user interface. Oh, voice user interface, I will learn about it. Emphasis. Emphasis. Strong emphasis on voice user interfaces. Apple and Google have large installed base based of users on smartphones. Microsoft has a large installed base of Windows-based personal computers, smartphones and smart speakers. And smart speakers. Windows-based personal computers, smartphones. Has a large installed base of users on smartphones, okay? Alexa has a large installed base of for smart speakers. Okay, history. The first tool in Enabled to perform digital speech recognition was the IBM Showbox presented to the general public. And by the way, expanding the right now, virtual assistants are expanding rapidly. What did we learn more from as of uh, 2017? The first one moment need to as of okay. The first tool enabled to perform digital speech recognition was the IBM Showbox, presented to the general public during the 1962 Seattle, Seattle World's Fair, after its initial market launch in 1961. This early computer developed almost 20 years before the introduction of the first IBM personal computer in 1981, was able to recognize 16 spoken words and the digits 0 to 9. The next milestone in the development of voice recognition technology was achieved in the 1970s at the Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with the substantial support of the United States Department of Defense and its DARPA agency. Their tool, Harpy, mastered about 1,000 words, the vocabulary of a three-year-old. About 10 years later, the, the same group of scientists developed a system that called analysis not, not only individual words, but entire word sequences, enabled by a hidden Markov model. It's a Markov model in which the system being modeled is assumed to be a Markov process with an 
in absurd states. Okay, thus the earless virtual assistant, which which applied speech recognition software, we were automatic. Uh, automated attendant and medical di digital dis dictation software in the 1000 digital dictation is a method of recording and editing the spoken word in a real time the recording is done by the use of a digital recorder in that one in the 1990s 19th 19th digital speech recognition technology Technology make became a feature of the personal computer with Microsoft, IBM, F Philips, and Learned and Hops, Hopsy, Hospi fighting for customers. Much later, the market launch of the first smartphone, IBM Simon, in 1994, laid the foundation for smart virtual assistants as we know them today. The first modern digital virtual assistant installed on a smartphone was Siri, which was introduced as a feature of the iPhone 4S on October 4, 2011. Apple Incorporated developed Siri following the 2010 Acquisition, acquisition of Siri Incomparated. Acquisition. Acquisition of Siri Incomparated as a spin-off. Spin-out or starburst is a type of corporate action where its company splits off a section as a separate business. Splits. Okay, and spin-off of Siri SRI International, a profit scientific research institute and organization headquartered in Menlo Park, California. The trustees of Transfor Stanford University established Siri I in 1964 as a center of innovation to support economic development in the region, which is which is a research institute financed by DRPA, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, and the United States De Department of Defense. Method of interaction. Virtual assistants make uh, work via text and line chat, especially about history. About history first uh, assistant uh, feature. The first uh, modern digital virtual assistant installed on the smartphone was Siri. In on uh, October 4, 2011. Okay, text, uh, online chat, especially in an instant messaging app or other app, voice, for example, with Amazon Alexa or the Amazon Echo device, Siri on an iPhone or Google Assistant on Google enabled Android mobile devices by taking and or uploading images as the case of Samsung Bixby. Bixby on the apps Samsung Galaxy S8. Some virtual assistants are accessible via 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 how to say it via 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 multiple methods such as Google Assistant via chat on the Google Allo. Allo is an instant messaging mobile app by Google for the Android and iOS mobile operating systems with a web client available on Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox and Opera. And via voice on Google Home smart speakers. Virtual Assistant used natural language processing, computer science, natural language processing. To match user text or voice input to executable co commands, many continually, 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 continually learn using artificial intelligence techniques, including machine learning. Sometimes called machine intelligence, artificial. Machine learning. What is? It's the scientific study of algorithms and statistic models that computer systems use to effectively perform a specific task without using explicit instructions. To achieve a virtual assistant using the voice awake word might be used. This is a word of grabs or 
of words such as hey Microsoft, Alexa, hey Siri or okay Google. <laughs> I said hey Siri and uh, Siri is coming. Okay. Let's uh, read next. Virtual assistants may be integrated into many types of platform or like Amazon Alexa across several of them. Into devices like smart speakers. Method of interaction we have by pictures, by uh, via via text, voice or taking or uploading pictures. Else uh, they are speaking with uh, Hey Microsoft, Alexa, Hey Siri or OK Google Commons. Uh, these word groups. And by the way, Hey Siri, tell a joke. What do you call a talking dinosaur? Thesaurus. Thesaurus. Like a thesaurus. Thesaurus. Good. Into devices like speakers such as Amazon Echo, Google Home and Apple HomePod. In instant messaging apps on both smartphones and via the web, e.g. Facebook, Sam, Visual Assistant by Facebook. On both Facebook and Facebook Messenger apps. 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 How to say it? Apps. 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 Application. Apps or via the web, built into mobile operating systems as are Apple's Siri or uh, on iOS devices and BlackBerry Assistant on BlackBerry 10 devices or, or into a desktop OS such as Cortana and on Microsoft Windows OS. Built into a smartphone independent in the of the OS as uh, is Bixby on the Samsung Galaxy is S8 and Note 8. On other mobile app, apps uh, such as Google Allo, within instant messaging platforms as distant from specific organizations such as uh, IRA Mexico, IRA Robot, on Facebook Messenger, on or Wet, WeChat Secretary on WeChat, WeChat within mobile apps devices and objects were found. Ah, okay, with within mobile apps apps from specific companies and other organizations such as Dom from Domin Domino Pizza. Wow, on s smart watches, in appliances, appliances, cars, and Android wear clothing. Android wear. It's not wear or called Android wear. It's a version of Google's Android operating system designed for smart watches and other wearables. Wow. So interesting. Appliances. Appliances. Previous generation of virtual assistants often worked on websites such as Alaska Airlines, Ask Gen, or an interactive voice response. Is a technology that allows a computer to interact with humans through the use of voice and DTMF tones input via a keypad in a telecommunication. Systems such as American Airlines EVR. IVR by Nuance, Orange Jinjo, Jingo. Services. Virtual assistants can provide a wide variety of services, in particular those from Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant grow by the day. This include provide information such as weather facts from e.g. Wikipedia or IMDB, set an alarm, make to-do lists and shopping lists, play music from streaming, Services such as Spotify and Pandora, play radio stations, read audiobooks, play videos, uh, TV shows or moves on television, streaming from e.g. Netflix, conversational commerce, see below, assistant public interaction with the government, see artificial intelligence in government, complement, complement and or replace customer service by humans. One resort estimated then an automated online assistant produced a 30% decrease in a workload for a human provided call center. Human provided. Wow. It is 30% decrease in the workload. Workload, what is. Workload is. Uh, Yes. Workload. Workload. I understand it is uh, 
the amount of work to be done by someone or something. Conversational commerce. Main article, conversational commerce. Conversational commerce is e-commerce via various means of messaging, including via voice assistance, but also live chat on e-commerce websites, live chat on messaging apps such as WeChat, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp and chatbox, chatbots on messaging apps uh, or websites. Third party services, Amazon enable Alexa skills and uh, Google Actions, essentially apps uh, that run on the assistant platforms. Third party services, third party, what is? Third party, what is a person? Ah, okay, it's one more person who who can improve it. Virtual assistant privacy. Virtual assistants has have a variety of privacy concerns as say associate how to say it's associated. Associated press. Associated with them. Features such as uh, Hey Siri pose a third No, I said again. Series on features as uh, pose a threat. Threat. What is threat? Threat. Threat. As such features are always listening. However, pose. A threat as such features are always listening. However, such features are important to make devices accept accessible for people who may otherwise have trouble. Modes of privacy such as the virtual security button have been proposed to create a multi-layer aut authentication for virtual assistants. Developer platforms. The platforms that power the most widely used virtual assistants, the are also used to power other solutions. Amazon Lex was open to developers. Amazon Lex, what is? It serves for building conversational interfaces into any application using voice and text. Power the Amazon Lex virtual. Amazon Lex? I will Google it. Amazon Lex. Conversation bots. Interesting. Amazon Lex was open to develop to developers in April 2017 it involves natural language understanding technology combined with automatic speech recognition and had been introduced in November 2016 Google provides the actions on Google and dialogue flow platforms for developers to create actions for Google Assist dialogue flow is a Google owned developer of human computer interaction technology based on natural language conversation the company is best known for creating the assistant a virtual body for Android iOS and uh, Windows phone smartphones that uh, performs tasks and answer users questions okay Apple provides Siri kit for developers to create extensions for Siri Provides uh, for Siri Kit. Apple developer. Siri Kit enables your iOS and watch OS apps to work with Siri so users can get things done using just their voice. You, your content and service can be used in new scenarios, including access from the lock screen and hands free use. Siri shortcuts. Shortcut app wow ibm's what's watson is a question answering computer system capable of answering questions posed in natural language while sometimes spoken of as a virtual assistant is in fact as entire artificial intelligence platforms and community powering some virtual assistants chatbox bots and many other types of solutions previous generation in previous generation of text chat based virtual assistant the assistant was often represented by an avatar <laughs> in computing yeah, an avatar is a graphical representation of the user 
of aka interactive online character or automated character. This was known as an embodied agent. Alice, Elme, Ali, Ginny, Alexa, Xiaowei, Viv, Snips, and what's free software, free and open source hardware, HD might out, Minecraft. Also, Chromecast integration. Chromecast is a line of digital media players developed by Google. Chromecast. Chromecast. Chrome. Smartphone apps. App. App. Always on. Always on is what is serious. Where is Siri? Nina. Nina, who is? Is nuance. Is US. Siri. Okay. Always. Siri. Always on. Huh, <laughs> funny. But Alexa? Alexa too. Unit to unit voice channel. Okay. Economic relevance. Digital experiences enabled by virtual assistants are considered to be among the major recent technology advances, advances and most promising consumer trends. Most promising. Consumer trends. Experts claim that digital experiences will achieve a status weight, com weight comparable to real experiences, if not become more sought after and priced. The trend is verified by a high number of frequent users and the substantial growth of worldwide user number numbers or of virtual digital assistants. In mid-2017, the number of frequent users of digital virtual assistants is estimated to be around 1 billion worldwide. Wow, 1 billion. In addition, it can be observed that virtual digital assistant technology is no longer restricted, restricted to smartphone application, but present across many industry sectors. Intel, automate, automotive, Telecommunication retail is the person of selling consumer goods. Automotive, automotive, what is? It's a wide range of companies and organizations involved in design, development, and manufacturing, and marketing, and selling our motor vehicles. Okay. Mod automotive, uh, telecommunications, retail, healthcare, and education. In response to the significant R&D expenses of fir firms across all sectors and and uh, an increasing implementation of mobile devices, the market for speech recognition technology is predicted to grow at a uh, CRGR of 34.9 globally over the period of 2016 to 2024 and thereby surpass a global market size of US United States dollars 7.5 billion by 2024. According to an OVUM study, the native digital assistant installed base, installed base is projected to exceed the world's population by 2021 with 7.5 billion active voice all capable devices according to album by the at that time google assistant will dominate the voice all capable device market with 23.3 market share followed by samsung's big spy apple siri amazon's alexa and microsoft cortana samsung big spy is 14.5 apple siri is 13 Point one and Amazon Alexa 3.9 followed by all capable device market taking into consideration the regional re, uh, sorry, sorry region, regional distribution of market leaders North American companies e.g. Nuance Communication IBM eGain are expected to be dominate the industry over the next years due to the significant impact of Beyond bring your own device also called bring your own technology, bring your own phone, refers to the policy policy of permitting employees to bring personally owned devices to their workplace and their price mobility business models. Furthermore, the increasing demand 
demand for smartphone assisted uh, platforms are expected to further boost the North American intelligent virtual assistant industry growth despite its smaller size in comparison to to the North American market the intelligent virtual assistant industry from the Asia Pacific region with its main players located in India and China is predicted to grow at a annual growth rate of 40 above global average over the 2016-2024 okay need to create content more about virtual assistants i think because it's so will be good value to people and it will be good story security in may 2018 researchers from the university of california berkeley published a paper that showed how the comments under undetectable for the human ear could be directly embedded into music or spoken text thereby manipulating virtual assistant into performing certain actions without the user taking note or of it the researchers made small changes to out audio files which uh, cancelled out uh, the sound patterns that speech recognition uh, systems are meant to detect researchers from uh, published a paper that showed audio comments and detachable for the human ear embedded into music or spoken text thereby manipulating virtual assistant oh, wow recognition system are meant to detect this were replaced with sounds that would be interpreted differently by the system and comment it to dial phone numbers open websites or even transfer money the possibility of this has been known since 2006 and affects devices from apple amazon and google in addition to un unintentional actions and voice recording another security and privacy risk associated with intelligent virtual assistance is malicious voice comments an attacker who impersonates a user and issues ma malicious what is malicious 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 voice common comments to for example unlock a smart door to gain an auth authorized and try to a home or a garage or order garage or order items online without the user's knowledge also some EVAs provided a voice training feature to prevent such impress impersonation. It can be difficult for the system to distinguish between similar voices. This a malicious person who is able to access in an EVA enabled device might be able to fool the system into thinking that he or she is the real owner and carry out criminal or miscavers. Mischievous act. Who is? Mischievous. Mischievous. Really interesting to learn more about Alexa, about uh, Siri, and uh, other virtual assistants. Was we were learn about it. And thanks so much for everybody. What did we learn? Is uh, about uh, our virtual assistant that uh, we have virtual is uh, it virtual assistant means that we will talk we will talk and use our assistance with uh, our talking with our voice with our opportunities of vocal cords and uh, this is so gr growth opportunity is really biggest uh, perspective we have with it and uh, method of interaction in it is uh, text voice or images and also history uh, started long ago in uh, two th one night in 62 but uh, in 2011 iphone 4s uh, was uh, introduced uh, was uh, had had feature of the uh, siri assistant yes else uh, we can find it uh, in some of the appliances app appliances cars android wear clothing other things uh, like a website uh, else uh, we can uh, have a conversation with it and uh, by the way right now we have problems with uh, security and uh, economic relevance will grow to 2024 at least yes it will be really 
nice and is uh, predicted to grow yes this sphere thanks so much for watching it was our learning th via via wikipedia about it about our virtual assistants uh, cool i think google assistant running on a pixel cl smartphone okay apple tv remote control cool with which users can ask Siri virtual assistant to find content to watch. Wow, really cool. Okay, thanks so much again. See you next time and uh, learn more, learn harder and work harder. You will be great, <laughs> you know. Thank